Okay, I got a uh, John Deere 185 here. This is a, a camp owned tractor, a, a hunting camp. We've owned this tractor for 19 years. Uh, born in 2001. It's uh, been rowed hard and put away wet. So uh, it's finally time for some TLC. It's a 1989 model serial 595 series. 38 inch deck, Kawasaki engine. Start out with a deck, uh, remove the deck. Uh, found out that it had a bad idler pulley and the arm that tensions the sheave pulley was seized. I'll show you those two. That pulley there. Seized and that arm was also seized. The one with the plastic cap on it. That wasn't too bad. Uh, the tension strap and the spring for the captive deck belt was also worn. They were replaced. That removed all the components of the deck. Sandblasted the underside, primed and painted it. Um, sanded and rust converted all the rust spots on top of it. Painted the top. Uh, rust conver uh, converted and painted all the deck components. I replaced the gauge wheel clips, which are these little clips on the inside here. They were completely gone. Painted this spindle shield. As far as the engine goes, just cleaned it up basically. Uh, removed the intake housing, removed all the debris from the fins in the engine, removed and cleaned the carb bowl, uh, removed the needle and seat and float and cleaned those. And uh, just service the air filter. And the steering is a whole different deal. Uh, front wheels were okay. Removed both front wheels, tie rods, and drag links or drag link. Um, checked and greased the front wheel bearings. They were somewhere on the left side, outside spindle. But other than that, they they look okay for now. Uh, also, I greased these supposedly non-serviceable tie rods. And by that, I mean these tie rods have a little boot on them. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a boot on them. If you take them off, take the tie rod off, uh, you can get underneath that and grease it. Or take it completely off and get some grease under it improves the steering and makes them last pretty much forever if you keep greasing them. But from the factory, these wear out. Uh, you know, the grease gets used up and they're junk. So, so uh, I took care of those. Uh, I removed and greased the spindles. Um, now the next problem was this was kind of a pain. Sorry for the delay here. I left this piece loose just to show you. Um, all the way back in there, there's a right there. There's a compressed spring that's in the steering column. That was broken. So. Needless to say, that was a whole lot more work. Uh, had to compress and remove the steering column, steering pinion gear, dash, wiring, battery, this whole 
whole deal here had to come apart. Support straps. And I, while I had it apart, I painted all in here. The battery deck and the pedestal. Not painted, but rust prevented it. Compressed and installed and lubricated the new compression spring and the steering gear. Uh, disassemble and cleaned and deoxid all of these wires here, all the plugs, took all the plugs apart. And they're in pretty good shape actually. And then, you know, I just re had to reinstall this whole dash assembly, steering wheel, steering column, all of that. Next, the fender deck came off. Uh, sand and converted all the rust spots on that. Painted the top of the deck. Uh, underneath, once the deck was off, underneath I uh, removed the gas tank, drained and flushed it. Uh, removed and checked the float sensor on the tank. Removed and cleaned the shutoff valve on the tank. Replaced the fuel line from the gas tank to the from from gas tank all the way to the carb. Uh, replaced the fuel filter on the way. Uh, replaced the OM padding underneath this fender deck. You can see the edge of it there. It holds down the wiring and pads the deck, keeps it from damaging the wiring underneath it. Uh, replaced the cracked fuel cap and then reinstalled that fender deck. And put everything back together. Uh, we need a seat. Keep looking for one of these because the pan is well on its way out. In fact, this bolt was missing completely. I put in a self-tapping one to hold it temporarily together. Tried another seat on it. It didn't fit. Um, we need to paint this air vent under the hood. This is has a considerable amount of rust on it that just unbolts there and paint it and uh, wheels are rusting a little bit pretty good though so that's that hopefully this will last us another 10 years Now, I'm not put much for commercials, but I'm going to do one. Use this to reform the rust. Get most of the big stuff off. Spray it. Done. Uh, this product gets rid of rust overnight. Take the big stuff off with a brush. Put it in it. Bare metal in the morning. Unbelievable. Water, water soluble. Great stuff. Aerocroil is a penetrant. It uh, is, was developed by the aviation industry to uh, keep dissimilar metals from binding together. This stuff really works in minutes, not hours or days. Fluid film's a good coating for rust that you can't get to. It's a good lubricant. It's basically lanolin in a can. Uh, smells like a concentrated dairy farm, but that stuff works. Plastic Restore. That's for the black plastic on the dash and things like that. Works good. And these are other plastic cleaners. Now these cleaners bring up plastic from trash to that in no time. Amazing products. Time to go cut some lawn.